Now I'm going to show you another way to calculate that angular momentum from r cross p. The other way is a Cartesian cross product. So you may have noticed the way we did our cross product was sort of the polar coordinates way. The, uh, the magnitude, magnitude of one vector times the magnitude of the other vector times the angle between them. But you can also do it with i hat, j hat, k hat, with the Cartesian unit vector uh, components. And you may prefer one or the other, but I think it's good to know how to do both. Because sometimes you might be given a problem where you have to do it this way. You're given two vectors just with some random numbers for their x, y, z components. And it would be impractical to draw it. So there are times when, when this is better. Or you may prefer this if you're really bad at picturing the angle and getting the angle right every time. You don't have to think about angles when you do it this way. So let me just walk you through it. Um, and I'm going to go through some basics on how to take a cross product this way, just in case this is the first time you've ever uh, seen it. So one thing is that it requires a right-handed coordinate system. So when I talked about the right-hand rule earlier in these classes, I talk about how I'd have a student come in, and they can't get anything right, and they're trying so hard, and it's because they're using their left hand. Right? You've got to use your right hand to do the right-hand rule. To have your, all your cross products worked out, you also have to have your coordinate system set up correctly. So remember, i hat is the unit vector of the x-axis. j hat is the unit vector of the y-axis. Well, i hat cross j hat has to equal k hat. And what this means is it's not arbitrary which way the z-axis goes. Right? Typically, we put plus x to the right, horizontal, and we put plus y going up, vertical. And you may say, well, z is into the board. I can make it either way. No, you can't. It has to be that i hat x cross y is z. So if you draw it that way, z has to be, positive z has to be out of the board. And you can do any orientation you want. If this was plus x and this was plus uh, z, which way is the y-axis? Well, it has to work out that x cross y equals z. So y, in this case, would have to be into the board, like that, plus y. So you want to be sure it's set up right before you do anything else, because yeah, you won't get anywhere. OK, so now let's say we have a proper right-handed coordinate system. Now let's just take two vectors. And I'm not even going to call them r and p, just to stress that this is not specific to r and p. So the vector a in a Cartesian coordinate system might be a x. x, this means a component, i hat, so this is just a number on the i hat direction a, y, j hat direction, a, z, k hat, x, y, z components. B vector might be b, x, i hat, b, y, j hat, b, z, k hat. Two Cartesian vectors pointing off in some direction. So you get the cross product from the components. And how you do it depends on how your brain works. Do you like to memorize things? Do you like to visualize things? Do you use flashcards? What do you do? So if you like to memorize things, here is A cross B. There's a little bit of a pattern here. A, Y, B, Z minus A, Z, B, Y is the component along the I hat direction. Right? The I hat direction only depends on the Z and the Y. Okay, and then you say plus, um, a, Z, B, uh, X minus A, X, B, Z, J hat. So you can see the pattern continues, right? This is the Y and just the Z's and the X's are there. And then you can see plus um, A, X, B, Y minus A, Y, B, X, K hat. So if you like to memorize things, you can memorize that and you'll have your cross product. You can probably see a pattern that might make it easier to remember. Another way to do it is to take a determinant. The determinant of a three by three matrix, you say i hat, j hat, k hat along the top row. You put the first vector here, a y, or a x, a y, a z. You put the second vector there, and you take the determinant, if you know how to do that. The way you take a determinant is usually you walk across the top. You say, what's multiplied by i hat? This times this minus this times this. 
oh, AYBZ minus BYAZ, that's that, times I hat. And then you walk to here, J hat, but you put a negative sign, and you say this times this minus this times this. Right, so AXBZ showed up here because it's the negative sign. Minus BXAZ, so that's really minus, but the negative on the J hat is why this is flipped. Right? Then you go to K hat and you go back to positive. And it's AXBY minus BX minus AXYBX, K hat. So you know how the determinant works, you can get that whole line just from this little array of numbers that you write. Or, if you're really wild, you can foil it. Okay, well, it's a three by three foil, right? So if you heard of foil first, outer, inner, last, when you're multiplying two uh, pairs of numbers, you can actually foil this times this, and you'll get nine terms. All right, and you say nine, but this looks like six terms, but three of the terms are zero. Because when you foil it, you gotta say, for instance, like the first term might be AX, BX, I hat cross I hat. I hat cross I hat is zero, because they're the same direction, right? So that term's gone. Then it might be uh, AX times BY, I hat cross J hat. I hat cross J hat is K hat. So AX BY must be on the Z hat. Oh, uh, there it is, look. Isn't this fun? And then you could say AX BZ, I hat cross K hat. Which way is I hat cross K hat? I hat cross K hat is negative Y. So AXBZ must be a negative Y term. Oh, there it is right there, look at that. So you could even foil it if you want. Three ways to do it. Pretty exciting. Should we see if it works? Let's see if it works. Let's see what happens here. We're gonna apply this idea to the translating disk that we just calculated. Let's just do position one. Here it was, it was at minus D in this coordinate system, so now we've got to be careful. This is X, this is Y, and Z is coming out of the board. It was up here at positive H, right? It was moving along at MV, and we had a position vector like that. All right, so all we know is that L is R cross B. I prefer the determinant way, because that helps you get rid of a lot of zeros really fast. So let's do the determinant way. I hat, J hat, K hat, R. Okay, I'm just writing the R vector. I hat, J hat, K hat. What is the X component of the R vector? Minus D. What is the Y component, the J hat component of the R vector? H. What is the K hat component of the R vector? Zero. Okay, P, what is the X component of the momentum vector? MV, it's just, move, it's just pointing in the X direction. What is the J hat component of the momentum vector? Not H, it's zero. Remember, it's a vector pointing that way. In real space, it depends on where you are. But we're talking about your vector, your velocities and accelerations, it just depends on which way they point. So it's zero in the, X, in the Y, and it's zero in the Z. So there's your determinant, seeing C, Things get a lot simpler when you have a lot of zeros in that little uh, array there. Because you can instantly see that your i hat term, zero minus zero, is zero. There is no i hat component to the angular momentum. The j term, the y term, minus zero, d times zero, minus mv times zero, it's also zero. And then finally, the k-hat term. So now we're back to positive k-hat. So we would say it's 0 minus mvh, minus mvh, k-hat. So you can see, all we have left is minus mvh, k-hat. And you're thinking so close to the answer before. Oh, it was positive mvh before. Oh, except before I forgot to actually do the direction, didn't I? Before, if we use the uh, polar way to get the direction, we did the magnitude. To get the direction, we'd apply the right-hand rule and say it's R cross MV, R cross P. And we would have said, oh, L is uh, into the board. Right. So now, if we have, this is a right-handed coordinate system, X cross Y, positive Z is, oh, positive K, K hat direction. No, no, plus Z is out of the board. Corresponds to K hat direction. 
is out of the board. Z is out of the board. So we have a negative sign in the Z direction, which means the same thing. It's M, or it's HMV is what we called it before, into the board, both by Cartesian and by polar.